everyone, how's it going? For those who don't know me, my name is Carson. I'm a professional makeup artist and a clean beauty enthusiast. And I'm here on YouTube to help you figure out what's what in clean beauty. And today is actually a fun video. We're gonna sit down. I'm going to expose my feelings in what is called the truthful YouTuber tag. I don't know, I find it entertaining. So that's why I'm doing this today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. The first question is, have you ever received a product, tried it, didn't like it, and then decided not to review it? Yes, absolutely. So a lot of the time when I am sent products, it's purely on a PR basis, meaning brands are sending it to me in the hopes that I will talk about it on YouTube or Instagram, but there is no contractual obligation. I do wanna come out with a PR video where I can just go through a lot of products all at once and like give you my honest opinion on them. But in general, I like to post about stuff that I really love and draw attention to that. If a product isn't great, it doesn't deserve its own video, it kind of gets pushed to the side most of the time. Next question, do you use a product that you don't show online? Yes, absolutely, there are products that I use. And let me talk about one of them. This is one of my favorite products ever that I don't talk about online because it's not clean, but it's been a long time favorite of mine and I don't see that changing. That is the Chanel double-sided liquid lips. My God, this is just my favorite liquid lip product. So the way that this works is one side is the pigment and then the other side is what looks like a clear gloss, but it's considered the sealer. So you you go on with the pigment, you let it dry completely, and then you seal it with the clear gloss, and that helps keep your lips nourished. I'm telling you, I can eat a full dinner, and this lip color will stay on my lips. I especially like these for red lip nights because I know it won't move. I don't want to hassle with my lips if I have red lipstick on. This is my all-time favorite liquid lip. I haven't found anything that really compares to it. I'm gonna link this and any other products I talk about down below in the description. The next question is, do you delete comments? If so, why? I have deleted comments. It's not like I get thousands of comments. The comments I have deleted were spam bots. I have gotten one hate comment. Thank God for that. <laughs> it's so nice that I've only gotten one hate comment. And that was someone saying that I looked bad with a middle part. So <laughs> I'm so grateful that that's where the hate comments are at right now. I hope it stays that way forever. And then the next question is, do you block people? I've only blocked spam bots. The next question is getting juicy. Have you ever lied about a product to stay on good terms with the brand? Answer to this question is absolutely not. It's just a makeup product. I would not lie about a product. I think that there are ways to be critical of a product. That's sort of more of how I like to operate. I'd rather be honest to you guys and honest to founders. Have you ever initially liked a product when you reviewed it, changed your mind later on, and didn't let your audience know? I have liked a product when reviewing it and then other opinions came on later on, but I've always disclose that to my audience. It's difficult when you post a video and that video sort of stuck in time forever, but what I will do if I change my mind on something is I will put it in the comments and I will pin that comment and or I will also put it in the description. For instance, the Ilia uh, Serum Skin Tint. I still love that product so much, but after a week of coming out with my review, it exploded in my makeup bag. So that was something that I couldn't have known would happen. The package Packaging's not perfect, it kind of leaks, it's not great, I wouldn't recommend it for travel at all, but God, that formula is just stunning. And when I told my opinion to Ilya, they were like, we know, we can't put it in a pump, it doesn't work in a pump, so we're figuring it out. So maybe they'll come out with a repackaged version of the skin tint, but in the meantime, it's still one of my favorite formulas ever. The next question is, who's an influencer you don't trust? Susan Yara. Ever since the Naturium debacle, it was such a mess and she didn't come forward in a way that I felt comfortable with. I don't take everything she says as gospel. Um, I don't think you should for any influencer, honestly, but Susan Yara definitely slashed my trust in her. And then who's an influencer you trust the most? Let me scratch that. Scratch that completely. I feel like I look short in this. Honestly, I look good. 
I'm fine. Okay, who's an influencer you trust the most? I would say there are a few. I definitely trust Hiram. His reviews have been so amazing for the skincare community because he's very ingredient focused. I also trust Samantha Ravendahl. She's very straightforward with her reviews and nowadays she doesn't take any PR and that's allowed her to pick the products that she's genuinely interested in. I also trust Raw Beauty Christie. I trust State of Kate. I trust the collaborators I've worked with so far, especially since we're smaller. There's this other YouTuber named Simply Becca who I trust. There are a lot of influencers I like and I recommend and I trust and they are all linked in the description. So definitely go check them out. So the next question is, do you have secret tips or product application that you don't show on camera? Honestly, I show you as much as I possibly can. I wanna come out with an eyebrow video because that's something I haven't really gotten in depth with. I feel like my makeup style is very no-nonsense, simplified, dry skin friendly makeup. I don't do anything super crazy or fancy or specific. I think my biggest makeup tip that I use the most that I do not see very much on YouTube is in my dry skin makeup tutorial. I'm linking it right here. It's a fantastic tutorial where I give you honestly the most amazing tip that changes how makeup looks on my skin. Skin. It's honestly my favorite tip. So if you have dry skin or you're just curious what what the hell I'm talking about, definitely check out my dry skin tutorial. Have you ever showed one product but were actually using another? No, uh, I have, there's no point in doing that. First of all, in my description, I list every product that I use on my face, like down to the T. I work really hard on my description boxes. I wanna make sure I'm as accurate as possible and that you guys have access to the products I talk about. And then the next question is, have you ever not disclosed a sponsorship. Now, I'm a small YouTuber. Hello, welcome to my channel. I haven't been sponsored yet. I'm open to sponsorships. My my people are waiting. Uh, <laughs> my emails are waiting for a good sponsorship. Hi, Felix. You want to say hi to the people? Did you have a good walker? Look at this good-looking boy who just had a walker. Are you pissed? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's pissed. Okay, he's pissed at me because I'm bothering him. He's so beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture of him. Why would I not disclose a sponsorship? That's ridiculous, that's illegal. I'm so against that. There's no point in it. Of course, I would always disclose sponsorships and I can't wait to take on a good sponsorship sometime soon. Have you ever had a bad interaction with a brand? The worst interactions I've had with brands is either they don't respond to me or they take a long time to respond. Rowan is known for taking a long time with their PR teams. However, I'm very fascinated by the brand and I'd still love to play with the products for you. And Kosas just like hasn't responded to me, but I'm gonna try reaching out again and fingers crossed I could get some Kosas products and do a revamped Kosas video because mine's about a year old now, so I think it's about time to re-up my opinions on Kosas. Have you ever agreed with another influencer's thoughts on a particular product? Yes, indeed. If you've watched my favorite cream blushes video, I highly recommend it if you haven't. Cream blush is one of my all-time favorite products. That was a collab with State of Kate, and we ended up agreeing on Air Perez's Carrot Color Pot in Harmony and Honest Beauty's Cream Blushes. And I think that is an iconic example for the ages. Last question. What is something other creators do that gets on your nerves? I'm gonna come out and say it. Saying the word gifted has always gotten on my nerves. It's not important, who cares? I don't judge anyone that uses it. It's just like, yeah, they gifted it to me because I'm an influencer and, you know, it's gifted. <laughs> you know, I don't know, there's something about that term I just haven't liked. Citizen Glow on Instagram is one of my favorite skincare accounts. She's so, so sweet. I love her product recommendations. And she had a really good post about saying gifted. It indicates that this brand is like your friend and like gifted you this product. And the truth is that, no, actually this is PR. There is an incentive for the brand to send you free products and that's you making the money. Let's just put it down, let's lay it out, let's talk about what this is. This is a business interaction. There's something about the word, I don't know what it is. It's, it's been like that for me for a while. 
don't know if you can see this, but look, the sun is finally starting to catch up to me. So with all of that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Are there some questions that you have some good answers to as well? Definitely let me know in the comments. A lot of stuff that I talked about in this video is in the description, so definitely check that out as well. I hope you all have a beautiful day. I will see you in the next one. Bye!